So welcome to your 26th Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use AND and OR inside of condition and basically AND is two conditions have to be true for something to happen and OR is basically only one out of two conditions has to be true for something to happen and if you don't understand that you'll understand it by the end of this tutorial so I just put two checkboxes in just one, one above the other change the text to this form to and and if and then just put a button as well and I'm just going to resize this form a bit Oops. change the text of the button to check and there we go so double click on the button and this is the button one click event and inside here we're going to have if so starting a condition and then checkbox one dot checked equals true and checkbox two dot text uh, sorry check equals true then and I need to put a K in there I made a mistake and then it should put end if automatically then here we're just gonna put message box Dot show and ins inside here we're just going to put the text true so now if we run this and let's bring this over here if we just leave like one checked and we press the button nothing happens if we do both of them then we get to see this is true and if we do none of them nothing happens so that's how to use and and we can basically all we have to do is change and to all for the all kind of um, condition. So just leave that like that. And if we run this and we check both of them, true, because it can have both of them or one of them, it doesn't matter. If we check none of them, nothing happens. And if we check just one of them, it says true. So that's how to use AND and ALL inside of Visual Basic. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you found this useful. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.